This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, Bruce? Hey, Jody. How are you? You know what? I'm, I'm good. Uh, we're we're here at about the end of summer, and I am uh, I, I'm kind of jumping the gun with my beer selection today, <laughs> okay. um, because it's you know it's I, I think the thing is by the time you get to the end of of one season, you're ready for the next, and so mm-hmm. I'm I'm mm-hmm. ready for cooler weather. I'm ready for fall and all the yeah. good things that that brings. So okay, I am. Uh, I'm excited to share my beer and I kind of feel like, you know, we, we generally don't start off with our beer picks. We kind well, of wait until whatever I'm, 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 I'm excited to share mine too. So go ahead. Well, maybe, yeah, we should, we want. should, we should start because it's, okay. it's, it's heralding the season that's about to, about to I, come. I almost did the season tis the season, but I didn't want to quite yet. So yeah, what do you got? I uh, have <laughs> the pumpkin patch pumpkin spice hard cider oh my goodness and so i i got this um uh m- my wife did this uh uh half marathon i don't know a month or two ago and it was it ended at this farm and uh I, we talked about this in a past episode but at this farm they had all kinds of fresh produce and all kinds of tasty things and uh, this beer happened to be one of the things that they had uh, sure. apparently they make this beer there mm-hmm. and uh, so so i had pumpkin to p- spice cider yeah so it's called okay. the pumpkin patch pumpkin spice hard cider okay yep. um yeah and so it's uh, it is definitely on untapped so if you're yep. following us there you can find it on untapped uh, it's very tasty it is definitely pumpkin spicy uh apple cidery a little bit of cinnamon it's kind of everything that i wanted today even though it's going to be 90 degrees so yeah. i'm like it's nice right now it is it's <laughs> nice and cool here in the garage so you know i'm yeah i'm i'm, I'm down so you're, you're already ready for fall leaves and all that jazz and i am but it's it's a cider with pumpkin spice yes okay. yeah so so it doesn't um oh okay made and canned for the pumpkin patch by reverend nat's hard cider portland oregon okay so it's a reverend nats thing uh but pumpkin spicy it's tasty it's exactly <laughs> what i wanted so there we go Very you know nice. we've talked about this before but we need we need a heavy conversation beer we're gonna have to figure that out oh we do I like that idea yeah i think that would be good some kind of heavy convo beer a real heavy beer probably <laughs> yeah yes it would have to be it had to be something that's really I don't know, a porter, a, yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you have? So I have uh, oh, this way, oh, Bob, Bob Toberfest. Oh, nice. That is uh, um, good for the season. Yeah. It's a Marzen. Um, it says it's our version of the Oktoberfest style beer and our most popular seasonal. This beer is named for owner Rick Allen's late brother, Bob, person who sparked the interest in brewing lager beers in general um either allen brewing in mcminnville oregon nice and Ooh. to be clear uh most of our beer enthusiast listeners know this i'm sure but oktoberfest in germany it's already taking place in september so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so this is good that was Timely. very weird for me when i actually found that out I was yeah like, it's not in october right what? yeah that doesn't make sense but yeah yeah so this is not my first oktoberfest already i've had a few Nice. Um, I went to Prost a couple of weeks ago and had one, which was really good. But that's the place that's like right down the street from where you live, right? <sighs> yeah. So good. It's good. Ooh, this one's good too. So lucky. I just like, oh, it's, it's dangerous because like, I'm like, yeah, I want the big one. <laughs> and it's like this huge thing. And I'm like, when they bring it out, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've got, I've got one of the, I've got one of the, the, big uh, ball jar, two of the big ball jars over here by the beer fridge for, that they give you with those it's ridiculous yeah. Um, yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go there and we're we're also gonna have to do a, another like Oktoberfest seasonal mm-hmm. beer tasting episode it's coming so, yeah this one's so good. If, i like it if you're listening and you have uh favorites Oktoberfest favorites um uh, seasonal pumpkin spicy whatever 
favorites. Halloween beers. We don't care. Let us know. <laughs> yes. Whatever it is. Yes. Oh, uh, can. Okay. Side note, if you hear any uh, screaming, uh, oh. there, there are lots of children in my house right now. Pay no attention to the screaming. Yes, children. they're they're running around and playing, and so I'm I'm back in a as you can see behind me. I'm back in my corner here with <laughs> you know the about dad as, in the corner. Yes, about as far away from everything as I can get. But uh, they, well, I can there, still hear them. Do they start? I don't hear anything. So they start on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, yeah, it's all like staggered. They go back to school oh. uh, a couple different days next week. I think uh, my oldest starts junior high. And so he goes Wednesday and then he's out the rest of the week and they all start together um, <laughs> the following okay. week. Oh, okay. And my fourth grader starts, I want to say Tuesday, but I'm not 100% sure now. So two different schools it'll be fun to juggle that we haven't had yeah. that uh challenge yet so you know see how that goes but it'll be uh, fun yeah yeah the school so, thing is you know it's always weird because you try not to put your um stuff on them going to school mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. junior high i remember highs and lows you oh, know yeah. there oh, yeah. and i'm sure everybody does and so it's you know you just try not to be like well here's how horrible or weird it was when i yeah you know just try to send them out and have them go but i will their, say that their is, own experience exactly and it's very very different from you know 30 years ago when, mm -hmm, <laughs> when, mm -hmm. you know when we went to uh, middle school so it's a very different experience and you know you just try to go into it as positive as you can and yeah yeah I'm, i i am excited there's always that nervousness for something new so mm -hmm you know yeah. and i'm not even going to the school so exactly like you know <laughs> yeah right it's a whole right. new experience for them but then it's a whole new experience for you with them going through it so definitely that's exciting yeah that's their last hurrah to yes. enjoy some summertime and yeah they are all the the friends are over here because they're all going to um basically like the the portland boardwalk they're they're going to oaks park uh, mm -hmm. where they have you know roller coasters and all kinds of amusement park rides and that kind yeah, of thing yeah. don't so they have like a big roller skating rink down there they do yeah they yeah like and they do roller derby i think they they do i haven't indeed. actually gone down there but i yeah. i'm not a big rides person as i probably have mentioned but yeah it, i yeah, like it, watching roller derby that's always fun it's neat it's a cool little place so it, it's a lot of fun to go to and they're really excited to head down there and do it so nice yeah yeah so everybody's here um until after we're done with the podcast, uh, oh, okay. the, the little guy can't go. Our youngest mm -hmm. is three and he's, he's oh, yeah. tiny. So, so going to watch him. Yeah. So he's going to hang with me and we're going to do some things today. So nice. uh, we should probably get the show on the road. Yes. What do we got so, going on today? So this week we're talking about something that just happened. Uh, Fabletics, the uh, premium activewear brand has uh, launched big and tall. Mm -hmm. And they have kicked it off with sizes to four X. And they have um, tanks, polos, t-shirts, uh, shorts, uh, reportedly underwear, but I haven't gotten that far into everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's all, it's, they've got a bunch of different colors, uh, styles, uh, well, colors and uh, a couple of prints for certain things. Um, there's an article up on chubster.com right now. You can check out and you can learn a little more about it. Um, it kind of, uh, I only found out about it because a reader reached out and then you happened to see something and, <laughs> yeah. and told me about it. I think I got served an ad on Instagram or something and I was like, Hey, look at this. Right. Right. So I did a, a deeper dive to kind of see what, uh, what was available. And so it is tops and bottoms, uh, looks like various size, various, uh, colors with sizes to four X, um, they so fabletics is you know one of those um uh kind of like uh they're, they're a beloved brand that is built up over time and they've got a lot of really cool uh stuff a lot of people are really into it um you know they do a lot as far as like breathable sweat wicking stretch fabric um and trying to make it pretty stylish so mm -hmm. the fits are are pretty modern all that kind of thing uh, the shorts, they're not super long, which is great. 
you know that's one of the one of I our mean, one of they're, our they're things. long but they're not super long yeah they look, i, I want to say like it's they're a, above the knee but yeah i want to say it's about a seven inch so if you're if you're a, a five inch or shorter than you know you, you may be like that's not that's not short but <laughs> you know it, it's not too bad um i do like that some of the things are a little more fitted you know uh especially like tank tops i am not a fan of the tank tops that have the long holes on the side the arm holes that just like hang down oh yeah. so your gut hangs out i i want something that's a little more fitted and <laughs> it seems like that's kind of what they do um the shorts themselves, the shorts specifically, I'm I'm really interested in because they look like it looks like it's a pretty good fit. I like the way that they, you know, I like the length. I like the way that they look. Um, they have a bunch of different colors in the in the shorts, and they I think they have a like a <clears throat> excuse me like a tech camouflage mm-hmm. sort of print. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of different colors and i mean if you if you want dark stuff they got the dark stuff but if you want to go like bright yellow they have like this chalky yellow uh which they have in a t-shirt and uh shorts you get the so, whole outfit yeah you can have an entire look that fits that which is great because some people they dig that and that's what they mm-hmm. want so you can get into that um polos they also have polos and i uh, you know how i feel about polos I, they're not my favorite, but Uh uh I will say, you know, there are a lot of people out there who like them and, uh, Fabletics has uh, a few different options there and they have one that's kind of a red with a different print on it. Um, yeah. So, you know, there are a few things to choose from that are, that are pretty good, uh, you know, in their collection. And, uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see, uh, you know, a new option and to see that um, in their catalog stuff on their site, they're actually using bigger models. Yes. So for, for the most part, there's a couple, yeah, yeah. there's a couple of small guys, but yeah. 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 They're <laughs> right. Right. So yeah, there's uh, you know, they seem to be kind of working it in. And if you look, if you look at the t-shirts and you look at the sizes um, you know, you're going to see, these bigger guys um they also on select products i noticed you can go in and click on uh at the bottom of an image uh there's sometimes a thing that says something along the lines of uh see what this looks like you know in a different size and so it'll show you what it looks like on an xl and a 2x and a 3x and you know and it kind of goes it kind of goes like that and so it shows you different body types wearing the shirt which is awesome because there aren't enough brands that really do that so uh, they don't do that on everything. I did notice it on certain products and that was, that was kind of cool. So uh, I think the tank top was, was one of those, because if you're just searching through and you're searching by size for tops, then the guy that you see is definitely not, uh, he might be tall, but he, he's, he's not big. And so if you're wanting to see that, mm-hmm. you can, there's a thing you can click and it says, says the model's name and how tall he is. And then it, below that, it says, see how it fits on other sizes. And you click that. And then it has a bunch of different photos. And so um, that's how you click on the next one. And it's got uh, model Stephen G, who, uh, if you see the guy, you probably, you probably recognize him. He's done a lot of, uh, a lot of other things. And he's, um, I think he's the Savage uh, Fenty uh, model. So, you know, he's definitely. uh, Oh, really? Yeah, he's definitely recognizable. And he's wearing a great looking pair of shorts and one of the tanks. So it's a cool way to kind of see, okay, well, you know, this person looks a little more like me and kind of go from there. And they do have three different models, which is cool. So uh, three different big and tall models, I should say. So they have, you know, these guys with kind of different body types. So you can see what the stuff looks like. And, you know, it's the thing that we're always arguing for is show us what these things look like (laughs) on different bigger models different body types and fabletics has kind of stepped up and they're doing that and i even like with the shorts they uh they show a little bit of belly you know like the guys it looks like they're shirtless or at least they got their shirts pulled up or something so you're seeing shorts and then you're seeing there's you know there's some stomach and a bit of a belly button there so you can tell Mm -hmm. that it's on a bigger guy and uh, i appreciate that well yeah that helps because it's like how are these fitting yeah right they seem to be a little higher than i would normally wear them but yeah yeah that's fine. so i don't wear my shorts up to my belly button but 
right right i guess they wanted to show that if you if you want to do that you can yeah it'll fit yeah. over your belly right i have my right. underbelly wear of my yeah of my yeah. pants and shorts but yeah yeah so the fundamental uh, short yeah and so that's like just their fundamental shorts it bunch is bunch so so as far as and stuff yeah as far as the <laughs> products go like the t-shirt is their uh 24 7 t-shirt it's the 24 7 t and it's available in a bunch of different colors and sizes to 4x the shorts like you said are the uh, fundamental short and it's you know also available to 4x um and then uh uh yeah i mean it's you know they've got a few other things they've got the 24 7 polo <clears throat> excuse me so uh you know you can kind of go through and look and put together some different uh outfits um there are other products on the site that are not available in these uh, extended sizes so my hope is that this is a first step in mm -hmm. that direction and that we're going to see you know there there are sweatshirts and jackets and pants and those are not available in, above a double x and so they do differentiate between double x and a two x the big and tall is two x three x four x so uh, you know, be sure you look at those sizes and, uh, I would say, look at their fit guide, but as of the time that we are recording, the fit guide has not been updated to, uh, mm. show exactly how that works. So I, <clears throat> I did the work the best as I could, since <laughs> no one has, I've reached out yeah, to only Fabletics. Goes up to a 2X right now. Right. And so I've reached out to Fabletics for, for, uh you know exact information and i haven't gotten a response yet yeah, but uh yeah so i kind of looked at the i looked at the fit guide and uh tried of, to make a best guess yeah. you know on what it is and so there is an actual fit guide that i created on chubster Ooh. that will give you an idea of kind of where things are at and so you know a two x is probably a 50 to 51 chest i figured a 3x is a 53 and a 4x is about a 56 so okay. um for bottoms a 2x is a 42 a 3x is a 46 and a 4x is about a 50 and that's really just me kind of guessing and of yeah. course these they have stretch you know it's active wear so mm -hmm. the stuff is going to stretch so you can get a couple different waist sizes out of that so that's why i jumped from 46 <clears throat> to you know to 50 basically yeah. so and they do have some sort of membership that I'm still trying to figure this out. Um, yes. You get like a, a VIP membership and then you get these different kind of deals. I'm a little confused on exactly how it works. Um, okay. You get charged a monthly fee and then you can skip it. Yes. Or you get the redeem the credit. I don't know. I'm like, I, I got to really read that. Yeah. So, the so pricing is really good for that. It is. It is. So the way that it works is that this is, you know, it's, it's, it's higher end active wear, you know, it's a, it's a brand that's well known and people are buying a bunch of the stuff. And so um, it's more expensive if you're just buying it outright, but you can join their VIP program. And what it does is gives you credits and like specific discounts. So I signed up, I created an account and it lets me pick a VIP member offer. So it's like an intro offer. And so mm -hmm. Um, so what it gave me was like two for $24 for all shorts that I could choose from or 70% off everything, uh, two for $15 on shirts. And you kind of go through and you pick the offer that you want, and then you can buy the things. And so yeah. each month, uh, if you're a VIP member, everything is, uh, less expensive because of these credits that they give you. And so you're paying, so there's a monthly, there's a monthly fee. And I've actually got a thing in the article that says, uh, how flexible VIP membership works. And so the thing to remember is it's paid. It's a flexible deal. So it says you'll always save up to 20, 20 to 50% off uh, full price styles and get access to exclusives that only members get. So you're okay. billed monthly uh, on the sixth of each month. It's uh, 54 95 for your exclusive membership. Um, it gets you these credits. So you get uh big discounts on the stuff you can skip months so if you decide you want to try it out you so you sign up you buy a couple things and you're like okay i'm going to stop uh you can you can skip a month your credits will still be in there and you can you still have like a year to use them and then if you of course if you want you can also you can also just cancel so the vip thing is kind of uh it's a cool way for you to get in try the products and then 
you know, go on your merry way. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as long as you cancel, uh, like if you start a VIP account and then you cancel between the first and the fifth, you won't be charged. So yeah. if you just want to dip your toe in, try the stuff, see if it's worth it, then you can do that and you can go ahead and cancel and you won't be charged. Uh, or you can buy the, you can buy it for full price, um, which is, you know, more than, uh, yeah, you know, what you're going to see. So like I'm looking at uh, the tank top, I'm on the tank top page right now. So the, the uh, 24 seven tank is, is 39 95 uh as a retail guest so that's for non-vip members but if you're a vip member then you can get two shirts for 15 bucks so you can get a tank top and a t-shirt it's 15 bucks so um you know it's not a bad deal uh definitely worth trying if you're within the size range and you know you want to get into something like that um there's a lot of good here i definitely like the style mm -hmm. i like what they say about the fit i have not tried it yet i'm ordering some so that uh, i can review it for chubster and and wow. give nice. a you know more in-depth idea of what uh what everything it fits like what it looks like what it fits like all that good stuff uh one there are a few things i'm curious about and one of the things is that uh they stop at 4x but if you look at fabletics uh Sorry about the screaming there. I was apparently. like, I didn't hear that one. Yeah, apparently something's going on up there. Uh, <laughs> Fabletics has a uh, has Yiddy, which is a collaboration with Lizzo mm -hmm. on an activewear collection, and they go to 6X. So hmm. uh, I don't, I'm not sure why they stopped at 4X instead of going to 6X, which just feels like it would have made a lot more sense. Um I am I'm really curious to to learn more about that. And I hope that the 4X is just where they're stopping now as they're getting things started and that they're they plan to expand the sizing to match the their women's sizing. So um, you know, it's one of the things that I've reached out to Fabletics about. And as soon as I get a comment from them, I'll update that article and uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh talk about it again in a future episode. I'll mention whatever they whatever they tell me but yeah. um it's weird because i don't see any of the big and tall on the fabletics men's social but how did i get that yeah I'm, so so I'm, that's i'm in some sort of um ad thing because i got the ad for it the other day yeah so i would say that's the the other thing that i'm curious about is that as of the time that i put this article together they didn't have anything about big and tall or extended sizes uh for men on their site. Now I will say that a couple hours ago the site updated and there is a big and tall link. Uh there's big and tall text in their in their navigation on their site. If you mm -hmm. uh if you go into it and uh you go to uh best sellers now, now only if you're logged in I believe. Yep, I couldn't find it when okay. I was not logged in. And so there's a big and tall uh there's a place where a big and tall link will go and it says big and tall but it's not clickable right now. Now, by the time you are listening to this, dear listener, I'm sure that there will be an actual link there that you can click that will take you to big and tall. Um, it feels like maybe this was kind of a, um, you know, like, like a, they, they, they just wanted to launch things, kind of get it out. Mm -hmm. And they are kind of adding as they, as they go along. So um, I am, I'm hoping because, you know, like you just said, you saw the ad through an, through an Instagram, mm -hmm. it was an Instagram ad. So they're doing an ad campaign. Um, they're using the photos that are on the site, the catalog photos, but I'm not seeing much in the way of like editorial, like, you know, bigger guys out running or working out, or, you know, if you look at, if you look at the, the Fabletics men Instagram page, there's a bunch of like cool kind of I don't know, inspirational, awesome sort of, uh, yeah. you know, photos of, of guys that are, you know, doing their thing, but none of those are big and tall. And there's no mention of big and tall on their main Instagram or on the Fabletics men. And I'm hoping that that is just because as we're recording this, they're just getting this launched. We'll start to see that and that they'll have some editorial stuff because as we've talked about for years and years, when companies decide that they are going to do big and tall, 
they have to be all in on it. And if they aren't, it's not going to work and it won't, it won't be successful. And we've seen that time and again, and we've even seen that with brands that put something out, they try it, they don't put everything behind it and make it a part of their regular uh, marketing, their regular yeah. offerings. Just include it in the same, it's, you know, right. social media stuff, all the posts that you're doing. Right. It mix doesn't it have in. to be every, you know, all big and tall, but totally mix it, mix a big and tall person or plus size person in with your, your regular right. size, you know, just make it part of the whole campaign. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so that's the, that's the thing. And uh, the hope is that uh, uh, they are going to do that because, I mean, if you look at the article on Chubster, two of the photos are, are kind of just, you know, studio shots, but then there's one, the one with the guy in the middle and the, the main image for the article, uh, Stephen G, he is outside. So I'm hoping that maybe, maybe that is not just a like backlot shot that they took. Maybe it is part of a, <laughs> campaign bigger that campaign. they're going to put out okay. yeah. yeah so you know my hope is if anyone from fabletics is listening to this podcast and you have something to do with the big and tall rollout uh please consider better inclusion you know let's hope that this don't consider it do it yes yeah do it. just, it's got to be, be part more of inclusive it. it's got I mean, to be doing part it, of it on the women's side so yes yes please do, do it on thing. the men's yes yeah yes so uh, do that. Um, reach out. We'd be happy to talk to you about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's all we do. So, uh, yes, I, I'm excited for what I see there. And I'm excited to try the stuff and get a better feel for how everything fits and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's it's good to see another brand out there that's thinking about this audience. And let's hope that it uh, uh, gets big that it moves forward and that uh, lots of people buy the stuff so we get more yeah might check out some of those shirts but yes yes so very nice that's all i got man i i think that's a that's a big thing it's like i said it's awesome anytime a, a new a brand brings new product out that uh, fits bigger people you know we want to see uh, extended sizes beyond 4x but hey uh, the fact that they're doing it they're taking that step Let's mm -hmm. hope that that is the first of many steps. Yes, they're they're just dipping their toes in. Yep, definitely. I'm, I'm excited to see what more they do because they've got some fun stuff. So yeah, absolutely, awesome. Well, cool. All right, I Jody. get to go finish this beer. And yes, and maybe try and enjoy the day. You should. You should. Oh. All right. Well, enjoy. Well, I guess you're going to have a quiet afternoon with just the one kid. So. Well, I don't know if quiet is the right well, word, you know, but it's going to be, be screaming yeah. bloody murder with a bunch of kids. I will not be sitting at my computer writing. I can I can assure okay. you of that. I'll be I will definitely be out there. I think uh, I think we're going to be uh, running around. I think we're going to be playing with some toys. I think we're going to get out of the house. You know, we'll, we'll kind of see. We'll see where it goes. So awesome. Well, yeah. Enjoy your day. Oh, I will. You too. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for listening to Heavy Conversation. Be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcast. <laughs> Podcast.